All right, you guys. So before we get started with today's video, I want to show you something and ask for your help. Um, okay, so I have a nine-year-old named Nate. He has autism. This is his teddy. He's missing a nose, and I tried to hot glue it back on. It's not staying. Um, we are having a very hard time finding a replacement teddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the rarest thing in the world, I swear. So a little background on Teddy. Back last summer when we were at our church in Alabama, um, they had Beanie Babies that they would give away to the kids for doing things at church, like bringing their Bible and they get points. Anyway, Nate fell in love with this Teddy and has carried it around, has loved it. It looks like it's been loved for like 10 years, but it's been one year. Um, at one point the seam popped open and the little beads were flying everywhere. So I know it has little light beads. And so I assumed it was a beanie baby. It was with all the other beanie babies and it has little beads. He used to be a lot more full, <laughs> but, um, after a lot of research, I don't think this is an actual Thai beanie baby and I don't know what it is. And if you guys could help me, if you know, I'm going to show you some definite markings to let you know. <laughs> you have okay so I've tried to get through this little speech about 20 times I'm just gonna keep going um I'm gonna show you some definite markings he has to kind of let you know if you have this or not and if you know at all where I could find one of these if you could let me know if you have one of these I will buy it from you please just help me <laughs> if you don't know the vlog will get started here soon okay so Teddy he has a definite snout you guys see that um he has a big snout his eyes sit right on this face seam that he has. So he has two seams going like this, and his eyes sit on either side. He did have a uh, like a black nose, too. There is no seam on his snout. His ears are really small, and they're kind of far back on his head. Um, he what used to be a little more fluffy than this. And then on his tag, this is what makes me think he's not a beanie baby because it doesn't look to me like a tie tag. Um, it's very hard to see. I will post a picture because I got a little better picture of this. It's very faded. It almost looks like a teddy bear logo, like a blue teddy bear face logo. I cannot read the other part of it. It's all faded. This is where we had to sew it up. Um, Nate loves this so much and I would like to get him another one because, uh, I'm afraid something's going to happen to this one. It's very well loved. And um, I cannot find it. I've looked all over the internet. I've looked everywhere. Um, the Beanie Babies will look totally different in the face. And I don't think he's going to... Uh, it's not going to pass the inspection, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. This little guy's very special. And uh, we're having a hard time. So, if you know anything about where Nate calls it Teddy... Uh, where we can find a new teddy let me know um yeah and he definitely he has a very um almost fur like skin uh it's not like a lot of them are like a velvety kind of feel it's not like that at all so oh you guys i've spent way too much time looking at that but anyway all right let's get hey started guys okay so welcome to the vlog today is friday i thought i would vlog today um it has been a crazy week i mean crazy town it has rained all week so well it's rained like tuesday through thursday so um everything it's beautiful out today but everything is soaked so i'm not sure about going and playing outside i'm a stay-at-home mom if you're new and i have three kids and summer is here we've crossed nothing off of our summer bucket list so i don't know that we'll cross anything off today either but i thought we could vlog and hang out together Yesterday, I took Mark to his 15-month appointment, even though he's almost 16 months old. It took forever to get in. And I really did like the new pediatrician. Um, I mean, I didn't like them as much as my previous ones, but probably just because I haven't had, like, the history with them. Um, but they were very nice, and he is doing great. Um, let me see if I can tell you all the stats. He's 28 pounds, 6 ounces, which is, like, 93 percentile for weight. He's like 83 percentile for height, which is down a little bit than what he was. So I think he's slowed down a little. His head circumference is like 99 percentile, 98.9 percentile. So he's a really big head, lots of brains. Um, they're very happy with his growth and development. 
Um, he's happy and healthy. And, you know, we're always a little more concerned about developmental stuff because we do have, you know, a child with autism. And so I was telling them, you know, I haven't seen anything concerning to me. I feel like when Nate was his age, I saw a lot more delays. Um, I mean, he was my first baby, so I didn't know as much as I know now. But Mark seems totally different than Nate was as a baby. I mean, y'all know if, if Mark were to have autism, we would love him. We love Nate, you know, and it's not like a death sentence or anything, but it is something that we watch more closely. I know a lot of you have said, you know, how do you know, how will you know if Mark has autism or, um, so I was talking to them about it and she said that they would do a more thorough screen or they do a more thorough screen for everyone at 18 months. So the next time we come, he would have like a bigger developmental screen. But she said just interacting with him and looking at him and she's like, I don't see any um, things to worry about. Like he's developing great. He knows like, I would say 10 to 12 words. Um, he's very good with eye contact, which Nate wasn't. Um, Nate was so different though. Like he was so smart, even as a little guy, like at Mark's age, he already knew his ABCs and he was working on his colors and stuff. It's crazy now thinking about that. Um, but Mark is definitely more like he social than Nate was. Um, it's just, it's really interesting to have two boys that are so different, which I know every baby's different. Of course, Lucy at Mark's age was talking a lot more, but she's a girl and she's very talkative. So Anyway, um, he had to get three shots and he did not even cry for the first two shots. Like he just sat there like he had had nothing. Like he was just looking at them like, what's the big deal? And then the third one really made him cry. And so um, he has kind of had a little bit of like allergy symptoms the last couple days before the shots. I mean, he's not sick or anything. Um, and they checked like his ears. Everything looks great. But he had had a couple of rough nights sleeping because his nose was running so much from, I'm assuming, all the allergies. He's been really fussy. If you hear him in the background, he's playing with Lucy. But he's just been really fussy and not sleeping at night, which means I don't mind sleeping at night. And then he got the shots yesterday, so he's had a little bit of low-grade fever, and I'm sure his little legs are sore. But anyway, I'm thinking about doing like taking them to Walmart and like maybe letting them pick out like a fun lunch and maybe starting to do like fun lunch Friday or something and and do something fun every Friday for lunch, whether it's like getting them a Happy Meal or making something different or letting them pick out something at the grocery store. Just do something fun to kind of break it up. So I think I'm going to I need to get milk anyway. I knew I was probably going to run out of milk and um yeah, so I think we're going to do that here in a little bit. Just to get out of the house for a few minutes. Uh, we're all kind of getting a little stir crazy because of all the rain um, and all of that. So you guys come with me today. I'm drinking all my iced coffee, so I'm going to finish that. And um, poor little Teddy. I had to like wrestle this away from Nate just to be able to show y'all because he literally carries it around all day if we're at home. I don't let him leave the house with it because I'm afraid we're going to lose it. But um, the only time we take him anywhere is like if we're going to somewhere that is nerve wracking for Nate, like the dentist or something, bringing Teddy really helps. And when we moved, um, he had that thing like a grip. I think you can feel the, you know, the difference that we were moving and he didn't want to leave Teddy and everything. So it's so funny how he attached himself to that thing and he just like saw it at church and wanted it. And then from then on, he has not let go of it. So I think it must remind him of something. And um, it's very interesting. So we're gonna run to Walmart and um, I'm, I'm very curious to see what they're gonna pick out for their lunch. I always like to go and pick out like a frozen, like you know those kid frozen dinners, which are not very good, but um, I used to love those as a kid or Lunchables. My kids don't really like any of that stuff. Lucy likes like the chicken nugget Lunchables and I'm like it literally is like chicken nuggets ketchup and two Oreos I'm like I could make that for you like and not pay two dollars you know but um it's a fun lunch so I'm gonna let them pick out whatever they want or they can pick out like popcorn chicken from the deli or chicken tenders from the deli I'm just gonna let them just pick out something fun and then uh, we'll come back and we'll eat lunch. Um, I'm hoping Mark will take a good nap I need to edit some videos it's really hard as a 
somewhat part-time working mom to find the time to uh, do my work uh, because it's not just like making the videos. Making the videos I can do while they're running around and playing, but editing, emailing with different uh, brands, that takes a lot of time uh, doing thumbnails and description boxes and finding links and answering comments and all of that stuff takes a lot of time. So um, I try to do it like during nap time, but then sometimes when nap time comes, like I just want to take a break, you know, and do something like watch TV or just chill or do housework, you know, cause that's always there. Um, and then of course I've got my big kids who don't take naps, but they usually can occupy themselves pretty well during nap time. Anyway, um, I will see you guys back in a little bit and we'll uh, talk about what they got. And of course you'll see their lunch video. I'll show it there too. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need from Walmart. I know I need milk. We'll probably get some more popcorn chicken because I thought I had another bag of popcorn chicken in the freezer. And I remembered that, no, we bought David some like barbecue wings and the bags look almost the same. So uh, we're out of that. And um, we have eaten so much. I bought like $200 of groceries this week, y'all. Now, some of it was like stock up, like butter and stuff like that, which we have not gone through all that, but in ground beef and stuff like that. But the actual groceries that I bought, like they're almost gone. It's crazy uh, how much they're like dwindling down. And I think it's because we're just not eating out. Although this is a side tangent. We have a subway. Um, we don't have a lot of restaurants in our town, but we have a subway. And I've been watching, if you guys watch uh, Marat, Marad? from Subway on YouTube. Like he does these short videos and he like makes Subway sandwiches. It sounds like so simple, but it's fascinating. I don't know, I really like watching him. He's like 18 years old or something. I don't know, he's a kid. Um, he might be older than that. But um, he makes me really want Subway. And we have a Subway here, which I have not eaten Subway since I was pregnant with Mark. Um, but it's been closed for remodeling for like, like the past month and I've been wanting Subway so bad and it opened up yesterday and I texted David, oh my gosh, Subway's open, I wanna go to Subway. And he told me, okay, tomorrow night, I'll bring us home Subway for dinner. So I am so pumped to have Subway. Totally, like what do you get at Subway? I usually get like the boring like turkey, like that's, you know, nothing exciting and then lots of veggies and stuff. Um, but I'm open to suggestions. By the time you guys answer, I'll have already eaten it, but I can know for next time, what is your subway order? And then, um, yeah, let me know. So I'm very pumped that our subway is back up. <laughs> I never have cared that much. I mean, I've always liked subway fine, but I'm telling you those videos, they really make you want subway. They really did. So anyway, that's what we're having for dinner. David's like, oh, I have a gift card too. I'm like, okay, yay. So um, I don't know how we ended up with that. But anyway, how we end up on this topic, whatever. But I'm going to take the kids out and I'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, you guys, that was actually a lot of fun to do with the kids. Um, so let me show you what we got. And um, then if you want to see their plates with everything, just watch the lunch video. It should already be up. So I definitely got some more popcorn chicken and some more milk. And then um, Lucy picked out this very expensive Lunchable, but it was a fun lunch, y'all. So, Nate, can you turn that down? This is the Lunchables Uploaded. It comes with six nuggets, ketchup, barbecue sauce, a Hershey Kiss, some Pringles, and then a water with a water enhancer. Nate picked out, I knew he was going to pick this out. I gave him lots of choices, but he wanted the Stouffer's mac and cheese. Nate, can you turn that down, please? And then he wanted a applesauce, so we got this go-go squeeze apple strawberry. He picked out that. And then he also wanted some Doritos. That's the smallest bag I could find. I don't know what happened to the small bags that by the cash register. Those were gone. David wanted some vanilla wafers, so I got those for him. Nate, can you please turn that down? <laughs> And then uh, they both wanted a Kool-Aid burst to drink. Actually, Lucy will probably drink her water, but Nate picked out that. It was actually really good for him to be able to choose different items. And then I called David on the way and he said, oh, we need more. We need to refresh our toothbrushes. So I got some more toothbrushes for us. I also let Lucy pick out a toothbrush. I offered to let Nate pick out a new one, but he didn't want to. And his is barely old. We just got it when we went to the dentist. So we just... We're going to keep his um, for another few weeks, but 
At least he picked out the aerial one. She doesn't have a like spin type, and Nate does, so she's been wanting one. And then I got some blueberries, and I let Lucy pick out a treat, and she picked out. Does anybody else love these? You either love them or you hate them. These, I don't know. There's something really good about them. So everybody's very hungry and they're ready to eat. So we'll see you guys back in a little bit. Hello, everybody. So I look rough today. I have not put very much attention into my appearance. Um, okay, I'm just fine, except when I'm making videos for all of you. Real life. Oh, man. Yeah. So it was so fun going with the kids to the store today. They behaved really well. And, um, it was just a beautiful day to get out for a little bit and they had a lot of fun like picking out stuff. I feel like anytime I can take Nate somewhere and give him like a mission, um, it goes a lot better than me just needing to pick up some stuff from the grocery store, you know, so he knew he was picking out like a lunch and a side and a drink and a treat. So he had so much fun. One of his goals at school was to say hi to people in the halls because like a lot of times um, people will say like hi Nate when he's walking in and he won't acknowledge them at all. So one of his goals was to be like, you know, saying hi back to people. And so I could tell like that's what he was doing in um, the store because anybody we passed, even if they didn't say hi to him, which I don't think anybody did at first, he would look right at them and say, hi, hello. <laughs> and we got a lot of people like just kind of look back quizzically, but we had a lot of people say hi and it kind of made everybody smile. So that was a lot of fun <laughs> and kind of a surprise. I've never seen him do that before. And then y'all, they demolished their lunch. Nate ate that whole Stouffer's mac and cheese. Um, part of the Doritos, I give him the whole thing, and his applesauce and his juice. Lucy loved her chicken, and um, I was telling her, I'm like, I remember getting a Lunchable as a kid, except I liked the pepperoni pizza one and the nacho one. Which, what did you guys like for the Lunchables? Um, I don't think we had chicken nuggets back in the day. I don't remember that one. Um, I'm old. <laughs> we had pizza, nachos. I remember we had the taco ones. Also, there's, I didn't really like those. And then we had like the standard turkey cheese and all of that. And if you had a lunch bowl in your lunch, you were like, like super cool, you know. And uh, the Dunkaroos, all the things that were fruit roll ups, <laughs> all the things that were like, if you had that, you were cool. We didn't have that every day, all the time. We mostly had like sandwiches, but. Every now and then we would get a treat, like a Lunchable, and we thought it was like the coolest thing. But anyway, I just got Mark down. Mark did not eat well. I could hardly get him to eat anything. Um, yeah, I think the shots, plus he's got a little cold, like his nose is running so bad. And when he's awake and he's playing, he's happy, he's fine, he feels fine, he feels fine. But when he lays down or tries to eat, I think all the snot and all that, he's just not have much of an appetite at all. So I just got him down. He fell asleep about 20 minutes ago. I sat here and edited a video, actually two videos, um, while he was kind of playing around in his bed going to sleep. And then um, he fell asleep and I finished it. And there were quick, quick, quick videos to fill, um, edit. And now I am going to do the thumbnails for them and go ahead and schedule them and I'm trying to decide what I need to work on. I kind of want to just take a break. I was up a lot in the night the last like three nights and I'm really feeling it. So I might just kind of watch TV with Nate or something. Lucy is playing with Legos right now. She is like the Lego master. The things she creates, like she just created this whole, I'll have to get her to show y'all, but this whole house with like all these rooms and <laughs> she has like a kitchen and it. it's crazy. Um, she has all these Lego kits that she's gotten, but then she, she'll she make whatever it goes to. Like, she has, like, an ice cream parlor and all these different ones. And then um, after she makes them, she just uses the pieces to make her own creation. So it's really cool. She has a lot more creativity than I have to do that stuff. But um, anyway, it is almost 1 o'clock, so I'm going to um, make some drawing in here. I'm going to finish this video and then just kind of chill for a little bit while Mark's napping. I do need to switch over laundry because I'm pretty behind on that. And I ordered the kids some sandals. I'll have to show you guys the ones I got for Nate because the ones I got for Nate really 
worked out good. I wanted them, Nate outgrew his sandals from last year, so he needed new ones. Lucy, I've already bought her sandals this year, but they're more like dress sandals, like for church, like the nicer, like leather sandals. So I wanted her to have like some, like just play outside, get wet, well, you know, not have to worry about them getting gross sandals. And so she's like in a weird size right now. She's like right at the end of toddler sizes into like girl sizes. And um, so some of her, some of her shoes are ones. Some of them are 13s. And so I took a chance and I got her size one sandals and they're so big on her. So I'm going to have to take them back, um, which is why we might be going, we might go on like a day trip to a town that has a Target because uh, that will be so much easier to take them back and I have to mail them back. And I need to get her some more. So I was looking at Walmart just to see if they had like little girls Crocs or like little sandals that, that could get wet. They had nothing. I don't know if they just, everybody's already bought them or what, but I'm on a mission to find some. I might just, if they have a size 13 and the ones I bought her, I might just switch them out tomorrow. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm done babbling to y'all. I'm going to finish this and then I want to chill for a little bit and I'll catch up with y'all when the baby wakes up and we're doing something else. Alright you guys, sorry if you can hear the fans. It is now a couple days later and I realized as I'm about to edit this video that I never closed out the video from Friday. So, <clears throat> I finally got my sub. It was so good, actually, as I'm filming this. We went back to Subway like a couple days later because I enjoyed it so much and I was like wanting another one. Um, <clears throat> so, what I get is the Italian urban cheese on or turkey breast on Italian urban cheese, and then I get pepper jack cheese. So, it gives it a little bit of spice. Spinach, lettuce, cucumbers, pickles. I think that's it, the veggies. And then I get oil, which sounds weird, but I like it because it kind of like, it doesn't have like a strong flavor like mayo or, because I hate that, or ranch or honey mustard. It's a very like light tasting. Um, so you really taste like the bread and the meat and stuff. And then I get pepper, like black pepper. And oregano is my favorite too on there, but they didn't have it at ours. So it was really, really good. Anyway, Saturday I didn't vlog, but we ended up going about 45 minutes away to Clarksville, Indiana, and going to a Target. And we were going to eat at Chick fil A, but Chick fil A still isn't letting you eat inside, at least at our Chick fil A. So that was a bummer because the kids have really been missing Chick fil A. Um, <clears throat> But we ate at Cheddar's, which is really good. And then we went and got an ice cream cone and we drove home. So it was a nice, like, outing of, you know, getting out of our city for a little while. But I did not miss the traffic and the crowds of a bigger city. <laughs> I really like our little town. Um, and Mark, bless his heart, he's had a cold the last couple days. He felt fine on Saturday, but then Saturday night and Sunday, he's just had, like, a terrible runny nose, really fussy. So I guess we're on our first like summer cold going on. Anyway, but we had a really good weekend. So I wanted to edit this video and get it up for you guys to go up on Monday. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and coming along with us on our Friday. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all next time.